Now we know how to determine the convergence of a series using the limit comparison test or the ratio test. So now let's apply the appropriate method to the following examples. So let's test the following series for convergence stating which test we are using. So in part A we have a series from 1 to infinity of n all over the cubed root of n to the 4 plus 1. The first thing you will notice here is that this series only contains powers of n and hence we can use the limit comparison test and properties of the p-series to determine the convergence of this series. So first of all, recall that the limit comparison test states that we take the limit as n goes to infinity of a n divided by b n where a n is the general term of the series whose convergence we wish to determine. So a n is n all over n to the 4 plus 1 to the power of 1 over 3 and b n is obtained by considering the leading order terms of a n. So here we can see in the top line we have n to the power of 1, so n. And in the bottom line the leading power of n is n to the 4 all to the power of 1 over 3, so n to the 4 over 3. Also recall for a p series from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the power of p. If p is greater than 1 this converges and if p is less than 1, it diverges. And now if we simplify bn, we have n to the power of 1 minus 4 over 3, or n to the minus 1 over 3, or simply 1 over n to the 1 over 3. So here if p equals 1 over 3, which is less than 1, so that means that bn is divergent. So now if we take the limit as n goes to infinity, of a n over b n, we have the limit as n goes to infinity of n all over n to the 4 plus 1 to the power of 1 over 3 divided by n all over n to the 4 over 3 or simply the limit as n goes to infinity of n all over n to the 4 plus 1 1 over 3 multiplied by n to the 4 over 3 all over n and now if we take this limit here, considering the highest powers of n, we can see that this limit will evaluate to 1. So we obtain the finite and positive answer for the limit of a n over b n. So that means that the series from 1 to infinity of n all over the cubed root of n 4 plus 1 behaves the same as the series from 1 to infinity of n over n to the 4 over 3. And as we found from the p-series, the series of from 1 to infinity of n over n to the 4 over 3 diverges, so that means that our original series also diverges.